Craftery by PegerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a crafty catapult to learn about how cannons played a big part in the American Revolution. Catapults were the weapons used before cannons were invented. Here's what you'll need for today. Craft sticks, rubber bands, plastic spoons, and small items to launch. I'm using American coins. And that's it. Oh, we've got a question. Cannons are cool, but when were cannons invented? That's a tough question. Well, we already know that cannons are large weapons that fire across long distances. Some say that cannons were invented in ancient China and eventually started being used in Europe way back in the 1100s and 1200s. That's almost a thousand years ago. The first kinds of cannons fired stone, but during the 1400s, cannonballs made of iron started to be launched. Each one could weigh up to 220 pounds, and that's a heavy weapon to catapult. And speaking of catapults, let's start making our crafty catapult now. Get five craft sticks and rubber bands. Okay, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Stack your craft sticks right on top of each other. Just like this. And rubber band both ends. All right. Next, get two craft sticks and rubber band only one end. Just like that. Now, separate the two sticks and put the five sticks between them, like this. There we go. Once you've done this, rubber band these together tightly. And I just sort of wrap it around all different ways. You can kind of just figure it out. It doesn't matter how you do it, but you just wrap it around just to make sure they all stay in place. Did it work? I think so. <laughs> you know, cannons were used during the American Revolution when General George Washington's small army was fighting for America's freedom against Great Britain's massive army. The cannons back then were made of iron or bronze, and bronze was actually stronger. The cannons weighed anywhere between 450 to 1,000 pounds, but they could be moved around thanks to carriages with large wheels. Our catapult here is a lot lighter than that. <laughs> We're almost done. Once you've attached the two sets of craft sticks together like this, you're going to take your spoon and slip it into the rubber bands. Might be kind of tricky, but you can do it. Secure. This is a high-tech weapon here. We gotta do it right. This is our launching platform. So before we get this going, I have to tell you about the Battle of Yorktown, the last battle of the American Revolution that the Americans won. This forced the British to end the war. Three types of artillery were used in the battlefield. Guns that fired cannonballs, siege cannons that destroyed buildings and ships, and mortars that were mounted on a flatbed so it could fire high across the air. The British had more weapons than George Washington's army, but the American Patriots' skilled gun crews and siege cannons earned the Americans' victory. The British surrendered 244 artillery pieces, weapons, at Yorktown, and America won independence. I just had an idea. You mind if we make another one of these? Hang tight. All right, two catapult cannons ready to go. We've got the red coat British army and we've got George Washington's Continental Army. And what are we launching? American coins. Three, two, one. Deep glory bazoonum. 
Okay, I can't play this by myself. We need helping hands. Yes. Three, two, one, fire! Oh! Fire! Yes! Fire! And the Americans won. How do you like that? Catapults were one of the first kinds of weapons used in ancient times, which led to the creation of cannons, which helped America win independence from Great Britain back in 1783. George Washington's army and America's founding fathers knew how important it was for people to be able to fight for freedom against tyranny, which is why the Second Amendment of our United States Constitution grants responsible Americans the right to bear arms. This was a blast. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and home of the brave. What do you say we do one more for freedom? Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> fire. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series and subscribe at PragerUKids.com.